Hello, what is up, everyone? Welcome to uh, MKU, the final weekend. Uh, today we will see a winner of the first season of the new format in D1. Uh, this is uh, Sketch coming back for another cast along with my good friend Dax. Hello. <laughs> How doing, boys? How's it going, Dax? I'm doing pretty well. What about you, Sketch? I'm doing great. I'm trying to um I'm I'm holding my mic with my hand. So like I'm trying to do everything else with the other hand and it's just not working very <laughs> right well. So I'm I'm getting there. But uh yeah, I'm excited. Um Me too. I didn't participate in Division One MKU this season, so I haven't been following it too closely, but from what I've heard, it looks like a pretty interesting battle for first place. Yeah. So this is the uh, the losers uh, finals, right? In the losers bracket. So this is yeah. um, XI versus Bree. And so the winner of this match will go on to face a high definition who won winners finals uh, in the grand finals. So because it's a double elimination bracket, HD will then be up 1-0. So whoever wins this match will have to beat high definition twice in order to win. Exactly. And I think we have some pretty good matches tonight. Um, XI versus Bree should be a good, max good match. Um, well, XI always has been like super solid, of course. Uh, they have world-class players, such as uh, Robo Strike, K, uh, Angel, Avalon. Um, and NATO is like, to, he's here to lead everyone. And basically, uh, he has um, a support role, so he's like the lead call and um, and the support player of the team. So it's a team that functions really well. And VRE has been going through a really tough first half of the season. They played seventh, if I'm not mistaken, um, but they got like really good results recently. I think they beat HD earlier in the squad queue just before uh, MKU. So they've been showing really really strong results recently. So it should be like. Um, a really, really interesting match, I think. And HD has been uh, showing also really good results. So all of the matches we are going to witness tonight are going to be pretty interesting, to say the least. Yeah, for sure. I think Bree kind of surprised me uh, because uh, I didn't really know too much about this team because most French teams you'd think of first are like WF or um, what are the other ones, like RE. But this is kind of a... Uh, a third one that I never really follow too closely, but recently they've been uh, having a lot of good results for sure. Yes. Um, so it's kind of an unexpected uh, powerhouse, I guess. I wouldn't say it's unexpected because BRE is made from um, RE's like this band basically. Uh, it's like um, a, a good part of what of the players that used to be in RE uh, that already won the one last the one last season. And some new ads um, that were already playing in D1 before. So it's like, you know, they're not newcomers uh, at any cost. So I'll just be really used to right. top level. So I'm but not yeah, LMDS, doing well. LMDS and Bowen previously played for um, SX, I think. Yes. Uh, so yeah, they definitely added a lot to uh, BRE as well, just with their uh, D1 experience, for sure. Yes. And the fact so that... that makes um, sense. BRE has two in what players, uh, it adds a lot to, to team chemistry and to um, also track picks. Uh, they can manage to to go and pick track like water park, PPS, um, track like this to uh, like abuse a bit of the inward combo that is faster on those tracks compared to outward. So it's a really, really good um, duo that works really well, LMDS and Saru. And they have also really strong players like Skartax, who is also like um, the lead call. Uh, he makes really good calls. Um, he's a shot caller, basically. And um, also players like Falso, Bowen, and Bastion that are really solid overall. So, it's a, yeah, it's a good match, I think. I yeah, think uh, really if, cool. if BRE managed to take the lead and can, like, snowball um, with like, inward, like, tracks, I think they can maybe manage to, to get a lot of points in and maybe, like, snowball to a win really early in the game. Uh, so it will mostly, I think, depend on the track picks. A lot of it is going to, like, track picks are really going to matter when you when uh, you have two inwards in your team. 
Yeah, that completely makes sense. That uh, tracks like, I don't know, Moomoo Meadows and what is it, Toad's Turnpike to yes. really get them red tracks. But then on the other hand, like you were saying, many tracks are very um, against <laughs> inward bikes yes. that I might, uh, you know, uh, try to use. So um, yeah. it's interesting that Avalon's playing right now. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty late for him right now. Well, I think he um, just finished his uh, 10th round of the, of the day and he was not <laughs> done yet. He felt like playing uh, some more. I got it. Got it. Probably. That's interesting. And then Angel as well is um, interesting. I don't think, maybe I missed it, but I don't think I've seen him play uh, too um, much with x uh, But I also I haven't been paying too much attention, I guess. I believe he has played against WF Stars this season, but I may be mistaken. I've not been following x too closely this season. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he has played uh, some matches. Maybe not in the first half, but in the second half, definitely. Got it. I think uh, Avalon has not been playing much, though. Probably his first match, I think. Maybe his second match, but he's not here really often. Which makes sense, because it's like super late for him. So, But yeah, I think it's going to be um, a really good match. XI is not to be, uh, is not to be underestimated, even if they're like super far behind. Or if the race is not going well for them, they have an ability to just come back and like pull sharp or just grind spots by spots in order to get the top back. So they definitely should not be, even if they're done like, for example, um, an 80 points lead, uh, which could happen if BRE may manage to get the track fix, uh, they can still come back and maybe win the game. So uh, yeah, yeah, I, I really sure. can't tell which will, will win. Of course, I am for BRE because they're French, but <laughs> I really. <laughs> I it's really fair, can't tell fair. who's uh, who's gonna win this. It's a tough one. I guess uh, Nato's yeah. flaming me because Angel's played literally every MKU match this season. So yeah, I stand corrected there. So he's <laughs> definitely, <laughs> I guess, part of their uh, main lineup for sure. I guess yeah. would, would, this would be XI's main lineup, maybe. Oh, I forgot Isaiah's not playing. I just oh, realized. Yeah. That's true. I completely forgot, so maybe he couldn't play this week or something. Um, but I guess usually Isaiah might play instead of Avalon, because I guess Avalon typically wouldn't play um, this late. Yeah. But makes sense. Well, I guess, uh, how many are in? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. 11. So we're waiting on one more. Then yeah. we can kick things off. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <coughs> So you, you didn't play MKU this season, right? Were you kind of AFK this season? No, I played uh, with WF style. Oh, but, right, um, right. We we got a, a bad season, so it was, it was tough to play. Because yeah. this season we had like two groups, um, the original WF group and the group that was from Ari. And we, um, you know, it was kind of different playing with a different group. So we didn't really have time to adapt. So we got like worse results. Than what we would have like gotten if both groups played their own way, I guess. But since Ari yeah, like uh, couldn't play anymore, it was basically and R WF yeah. was also, also struggling with players. The only solution was to to merge basically. But uh, that makes sense. Pretty well because we didn't have like much time to practice together, I guess. I feel like a lot of upper higher teams don't really play as often as I guess other divisions, at least from what I've seen. Like um. Whenever we're searching for wars and stuff, it's mm -hmm. mostly um, uh, not <laughs> Division One teams, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, so I feel like a lot of teams kind of only play during MKU sometimes. So yeah, it's kind of hard to get practice often in 6v6. Yep. But then there's always lounge, I guess, for <laughs> practice. Yeah, but obviously but that can be a bit different. It's quite different, yeah. It's nothing like beats 6v6 uh, practice, I guess. But as you said, um, when like the community is not really active, um, because people are not really motivated to play, it's hard to find a, to find um, an opponent that will make you uh, like improve and, and stuff. So for D1 team especially, I think I feel like it's really hard to to find good matches like uh, reliably. Right. Anyway. Okay, so to I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back in like 20 seconds. I'm gonna get water. Right. But I'll let you take over during the uh, track sure. selection. So I'll be right back. Sure. I think there's a typo in uh in the uh, POV name. Kai has a, a Y, not an I. Um, but I'm quite curious as to see what XI will play as a starter. I think they're hosting, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, stadium. So XI is definitely hosting. 
jungle or stadium. I, I think Strike should be hosting, probably. So they have like one tree, maybe. So yeah, what track is it going to be? And Exile like gets the pick, so they get uh, jungle to, yeah, so they start 1-3, uh, 6-7-8, and, and last. So if they can manage to protect 1-3 and get shrooms in the middle of spot, we will be really set into this first race. As we are watching uh, Exile's POV with Sky. Alright, I'm back, just in time. <laughs> right, I'm back. So it's an XI pick, jungle. Yep, there's anti inward track number one. <laughs> yes, and also because it was one three for strike. Oh, I yeah, think you're mentioning theory. this when I left the famous spelt case name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I said it's it. Like it so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Fair VRE back, back here for the moment. Maybe Robo's behind as well. Robo's See, a few people spinning in the front as well, so there's already <laughs> some attacks going on up there. Oh, well. Unlucky anti-grab. NMGS is up in the front. Yep. I, I, okay, he has blue. Well, I assume uh, XI is first. XI, like, pro Strike probably kept first. I would say they're maybe top two. And NMGS is following them in third. At this point, BRE might try to go for shock soon. Or yeah, I wouldn't be surprised it... if um, Falso kind of stopped here, potentially. Yeah, because Kai is, is building blue, so... Like, okay, so... Maybe. Well, maybe perhaps he got a horn or something, but... Yeah, I, I think he has a horn. I don't think he, he lost first. Yeah, okay. I think he died. Wait, was that the... Almost looked like a ghost was used in the first. Yeah, he thing, booted but... in first. Yeah, he booted in first. Yeah. So that's, uh... A lot of XI back here now. Yeah, yeah, I guess um, let's take an over the top. <coughs> I would say they're maybe like oh sorry is dead. I would say uh Bjari is top two right now, but XI has um is XI is catching up. Oh they have two free four actually that's, that's huge. Two, yeah, and they'll catch up pretty easily as you can imagine yeah. here. With a bomb you can manage to take Skartax out maybe. Oh strike failed. If he's able to I mean he'll take cut and then potentially do some damage with this bomb later on. Yeah. Um I mean there's a case where you could hold this bomb to that straight away, but I don't know if that's That's a worth. risky trail. Oof. You can probably manage to snipe him, but okay, so just decide to take him out by Blue Red. He's probably going so, to try and backspam the bomb, I yeah, guess. Yeah, you can call his teammate wide maybe and then yeah. you can back it. I, yeah, that's yeah. what he did. Oh Skartax went through, okay. That's one three for I still. I think that's a winning race, because MDS got probably last. Yeah, he got last. A huge race for XI, I would say. Yeah, one, yeah, three, four. That was a good attempt with the bomb, but yeah, Skartax was just a tiny bit too close there to yep. probably get contact, but I, it was still worth it for sure. We have been a top three if the bomb hit. Yep. So, yep, that's a plus 20 race for XI starting off. So, good start for XI. Yep. XI up 20 now. And yeah, of course, it's the Rainbow <laughs> Road from. For um, a BRE, which is the uh, usual pick, you 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 go for when you have a, a like a huge bottom because you get a lot of coins. See, like bottom three for BRE got they all got five coins, and since they're like almost no coins on this track, it's really easy to catch up. And the yeah, I feel are like for some reason uh, inward players, yeah, they prefer this track. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure why, yeah, but. In world's faster on this track. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. XI yeah, is getting lots of nice traps up here. Top so. three. Ooh. If they can manage to keep the top and hit BRE so they don't catch up, it could be a really huge race for them. Oh, but enemy just throws fire. Oh, strike oh, that was a good yeah. evasion for Strike there. He yeah. played that really well. They played it's going to be a meat shield essentially here for Strike at the, for the next section, I guess. Yes. But thankfully, getting one protection at least. Oh, that's so okay. Well, I, I mean, that's a trade. Out. It's a trade. Yeah, yeah. but that, that's not worth it. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, um, that kind of spices things up, though, for the race. We'll yeah. see. I, I, Gary is kind of in a better spot, I would say, right now. Okay, Avalon maybe. Yeah. Okay, Avalon dies. Nice. Uh, yeah, so they kind of hit back, yeah. though. They, they got hit a lot, I guess. Yeah, I think most of XI is kind of in the top. Strike certainly kept first. Is he going to... Oh, I think he's getting blue on the line, actually. 
It might be the glider, so it's probably not. No, he not... dodged it. He dodged it. Okay. Oh, robot gets taken out. Yeah, really huge race for BRE right here. For XI, sorry. Probably, I would say top four, maybe? Oh, I see got first. Oh, Two, also. Three, Eight, nine, last. Clutching first there. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess the blue connected on the strike for him to get first, but I kind of missed um, also getting up uh, later yeah. on in the race. But I don't know how much K hitting the the uh, chain chop changed the race. Um, mm. I don't think it, it made things too different because he was able to give strike a breakaway at least, and then a couple of other XI members were still up there. Uh, mm. But then I think Bree got fire later on. That was pretty much unavoidable on the straightaway. That got I, Avalon yeah. and people towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, NMDS did a good job at taking Avalon out. And um, I think he also trailed uh, one of XI. I'm not sure who. Um, but I, I think like K uh, hitting the, the thing kind of gave uh, Falso the opportunity to get first. He probably would have would have gotten like a, a really huge top if K did, uh, didn't hit the thing. To jump. XI pick again. So like, what? Oh, that's two for XI and one for BR. It's kind of kind of close in terms of track picks so far. As we see, DS draft track. So they intend yeah. to to draft Falso and basically be top and steal the coins. That's what they, they want to do. That would be ideal. I think this is K, one of K's favorite tracks as well. So we'll yeah. Have to... Seem driving on his favorite track. They managed to take the top. Oh, Bastion managed to. Oh, oh he's getting taken out. <laughs> Good reaction like from K here. And he decides to keep boxes. Okay, well, that's fair. Because he would have gotten a coin anyway. He just wants to secure his first right now. As we see two people stopping in the back. Oh, he gets sniped. They respond right Biari... away. <laughs> that's sniped. Biari's top two, I think. Top two, si top two, five, six. That's a huge race for them so far. Okay, top three, I guess. Pretty nice cut for LMDS there to get up there. Oh, that green is... Oh. It's gonna connect. That was gonna be really hard for him to avoid. Yeah, honestly. they kinda lost the top now. And yeah, you see K is trying to do some damage to the back, so he's definitely got the top now. <laughs> oh, oh, see, his this... items are really good. <laughs> A little bit of trolling going on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm okay, so about of NMDS in second or third, I think XI is like 1 3 4. I feel like the entire pack is just pretty mixed right now, honestly. Yeah, there's pretty equal in the back and the front for both teams. That, oh, that was clearly BRE yeah. a BRE shock, unless yeah, there's some Dodge there. and false, not false, but uh, I'm not sure. But two BRE dodge, yeah, it's um, power and dodge, but it's not gonna matter too much because. They were shocked after Glider, and they are still sort of have a, a breakaway. If BRE doesn't pull any power items, it's not going to be really like a huge shock for them. He is in a pretty good seat right now. <laughs> yep. With that bullet belt taking them up there. 2 3 for BRE, 1 4 5 6 for XI. Okay, might okay, be able go. to snag a couple points at the Glider potentially if he doesn't get Intense. boomerang here. Yeah, intense duel <laughs> between uh, Bowen and K, Boomerang versus Triple Nanas. If you manage to to snipe them on the line, maybe he fails the shortcut, so K is going to be able to snag oh, one third for four. Place. So BRE lost two spots off of him failing that. Yeah, so that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that's um, a huge loss. One, three, four, six, nine, ten. That's a huge race for XI again. Another favorable race for them. Yeah. And so far, XI is showing that they can play on every every part of the of the minimap. Um, they mm. have always have at least top three or three people in the front and people in the back that manage to catch up if the front gets hit. So that's how they manage to consistently get points. If the top dies, well, the bot will catch up. So... Yeah, it's a pretty ideal setup, theoretically, I guess, for sure. Yes. For sure. Yep. <laughs> They're already opting for uh, Moomoo Meadows there. Yeah. To get that inward advantage again. Yeah. And they got like middle spots. So what they want to do is um, pull shrooms and manage to get the top back by shooting up in the in the cut. But unfortunately, TDT gets picked and XI <laughs> will manage to maybe snowball on this. We'll see. See how it goes. 
Which I haven't been paying too much first. attention to shocks, but obviously there was one on DS, but I kind of forgot the shock situation on the other tracks. Um, I think it's the only one that was played. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, it is the only one. We'll see what Bree does here to excise top spots. There's a couple of red shells being thrown. Okay. Nothing too crazy so far. So, okay. There's a lot of attempts going on, but not too many people spinning at the moment. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of close so far. Uh, oh, Bjerry gets taken out. Maybe if Fox yeah, but there's still... Oh, oh wow. and NDS dies. Uh, okay, well. That's I guess a, he has to play from tough. the back now. Okay, also decides to play from the back. A lot of Bjerry people down here. Oh, no. Who's that guy in last? Can't tell. Yeah, at this point, I think oh, Bjerry... It's, oh, it's bottom two. That's going to be a 3 2 battle for Shark in the back. Yeah, pretty much. K is certainly at the correct distance to pull it. Yes. Bottom 2 is, so we'll see if either team is able to uh, <laughs> get mm -hmm. it here. I'm pretty sure XI is still holding the top. I think XI has a. Yeah, they are. Yep. XI is holding a huge top. K probably going for the build strat. If you manage to have yeah. Shark up, but it's huge. Oh, it's, gold. it's pretty good still. Bill should so, take yeah. him up to uh, at least 6th, potentially, here. That's probably a top 4, at least, for XI. Yeah, it's so a top Bree 4 is definitely XI. needing to go for something here as a last-ditched effort, top but it doesn't three. appear that they're doing that. Mm -hmm. So, That's this it. plant is going to actually be pretty good, especially in the glider. Yeah. Um, hopefully, there's a the rubble there, so they space okay. It's looking like... Ooh, Ooh that's risky. He manages to not get hit. Okay, that's a top 3 for XI. That's a huge race again. Oh, maybe not. Maybe top 2 for... Again. Might have been maybe a ghost. Two. Yep. Yep. Top 2 for 5, 8, 9, and bottom 3 for Barry. That hurts a lot. And so would DC that race, is, so um... I guess it didn't help. Yeah, I didn't even notice the uh, disconnection there, which, yeah, definitely doesn't help him at all. Yeah, and XI kind of taking the lead, up already 58, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 58. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> yep. After 1 GP, it's quite a bit, but I mean, XI kind of got more track pits so far, I think. So. Yeah, for sure, and their momentum's still going. Yeah. But it just takes one other track pick to kind of flip things around, for sure, for the whole war. Yes. So, at, 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 this, at this level of play, track picks matter a lot. Like, it's going to matter whether you can snowball or not, or if you can break your enemy's momentum. But uh, apparently, XI is going to keep <laughs> the momentum with one more track picks. I will suck it. Which is a good, uh, a good pick, because they will manage to get uh, the top going, and maybe people in the baggage rooms to catch up. So Yeah, it's a good pick. For sure. So best case scenario, Bree gets a Sherman third here to get into the uh, front. Yeah, but uh, it's not the going likely to be case is that, Yeah, the likely case is XI is going to be able to at least keep top two. Okay, he feels a bit... Oh, yeah, I don't know if that strat time. is worth it if you're not in first at the beginning, but maybe... Mm, it's risky, definitely. Good. I think if you manage to pull it, I think it's worth it. And Angel getting taken out at the worst place possible. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So well, Bree's decent think. spots, right? Lots of middle spots here. Four, five, six, yeah. But I think um, XI is still holding on top three, probably. Or maybe top two, four. Probably top two, four. Top two, four, five, even. I don't know what happened to BRE. Or maybe they, they've taken over the top, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Robo is still first. Oh, Robo died. So now it's uh, one, three for BRE, I would say. And two, yeah, one, four, maybe. I would say 1, 3, 4, 5 for BRE, probably. Managed to pull a red. Oh, ooh, that's dangerous. You need to space out. So, I think BRE is uh, in a really good spot right now. Oh, they just have to change first. Oh, blue comes. Okay, I guess we'll see. Okay, so Leo doesn't break it, so it's definitely an XI player in first. Okay, going to be able to take the cut. Uh, BRE probably first. Let's have one free. I would say AJ is second. Oh, yeah, he gets taken out as a top two. 
And he gets to like, nope, top three, no, only top two. Oh, he gets knight! Ooh, that hurts a lot. He gets a double though in eighth. He still puts a star, that's, that's fine. Exile kind of in the, in the front right now, I think. It's mixed. And MDS maybe be able to, to catch up a bit. Quite a bit, actually. Biari gets taken out on the line. That's probably a 1 3 4 for Biari, I would say. Never mind, top 2 for Xi. Uh, still a decent trade. I think it's it's even. That's an even uh, an even race. And I can't hear you, Sketch, if you're all talking. <laughs> Hello? I still cannot hear you, Sketch. Sketch seems to be unable to speak. As uh, XI has a 62 point lead after 5 races. We are kind of struggling to take over the top. And very few shocks this race so far. This uh, hello, yeah, we hear you now. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I unplugged my mic and plugged it back in. I was talking like that. <laughs> yeah. Not, like this is just going crazy right now, but mm. it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. I feel like my... BRE should maybe try to go for shock more because. XI manages to always, you know, um, get a good front presence and um, considering the XI's gameplay, I think I feel like it's it's you know it could be more devastating to, to bullshock rather than just rely on taking top uh, top spots. Right, top. and even on TikTok, when clearly XI was most of the top spots, no one really had any sort of effort at the end to go get one yeah. at least. I don't know. So maybe maybe you're right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that did that work That's out or is Yes, I think that did. It took a lot it took a lot out. We managed to take on first. yeah, he managed to take on first. That's pretty good. XI is too free though. I think Edmore loses a lot of time around here though. Yeah. To... You can't Oh he gets like dream. Yeah. He, he tries to get to go for the leg dream but doesn't doesn't connect. I think he did connect. No, but... I think he did either hit a wall or it hit him, because he's back there now, so Yeah. I think kind he of a trade. Is a golden green, yeah. Strike Ooh. going to stop, yeah. Well, he baited them into using the horn, so that's good. He doesn't really that's have to worry good. about that now. 3 5 6 for BRB so far. Blue coming up. Ooh. Oh, he gets hit by the blue. That's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty I unavoidable. No yeah, I have no clue who's in the front. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh. BRB kind of in the front right now. They have like two, 3 4 5 6, I would say. As we see two people going for shock in the back. Probably XI at this point. Yeah. I think XI is bottom three. Oh, oh green? Is, they were stopping at that. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did pull shock. If they did, they're probably going to play first setup three, I would say. Oh, mm, yeah, he gets there the goes out. the fire XI. from uh, Rubble, I believe. Oh, that's probably an XI shock, yeah. Yeah, definitely an XI shock. Many XI dodged that, for sure. It's yeah. really good bell usage from K. I'm holding up the item after. Yeah. It's a green shell. Um, he, he tries to break it on. Oh, okay. Still a top two for XI. That's, that's fine. Yeah, the green shell is crucial there. <laughs> oh, he has no protection. Yeah, but it might be okay. The, the coin can buy him like extra time. Makes his opponent believe he has double. But that's no, he's not gonna. That was, yeah. that was worst case scenario for yeah, K yeah. there. That's still a top two, time. but three four for Biari. He just has to survive. Ooh, risky green at the end, but not gonna connect. And that's still a really good race for XI. That's a top two five six for XI. Top two five six eight nine and bottom three for Biari. Another yeah, they just keep the... getting bottom three almost every race. Yeah. So sad. Biari is basically like not. Like, like it's kind of getting outclassed strategically. They can't really manage to get a grasp of the front, and when they do, uh, be like XI is already at the shock since uh, a few minutes. So it's kind of it's kind of hard. For like, sure. To definitely a comeback is possible, but they need to start getting good races and take the momentum back right now. Because they also they get, need like... to start getting uh, track picks as well. Because <laughs> I feel like at the moment yeah. they're kind of. 
not getting really any of them. But yeah, but I mean, they didn't really bother going for Shark, or maybe they just didn't pull it. I don't know, because we, we saw uh, two uh, BRB players stopped, but I'm not sure if, if it's because they got, like, sniped, or, like, if they just couldn't manage to run anymore, or if they actually pulled Shark and Exile played it earlier, I'm, like, I don't know. Maybe Exile, um, maybe both team had Shark and Exile played it faster. Yeah, sure. that would make sense, too. Mm -hmm. But halfway mark, so still yes. half the story to go. So. Yes, and <laughs> a comeback is definitely possible. I'm trusting you, BRE. Don't disappoint me, guys. Well, they got their track pick here, so we'll yeah. see if they uh, take advantage of it. They should be able to get a lot of shrooms in the middle, get more coins. Just need to be uh, like to watch out about controlling the back as well. Definitely. Ooh, okay. Oh, that green's a he nice pull. Oh, he broke the, the red <laughs> on his teammates. That's uh, not good. Not going to be too off, but not not cheap. Could have done. You seen inward back? Yep. But misses. That's really good items in the second to have. It's pretty much the best thing he could have pulled here on this track. Yeah. Throw the right at the box and then take cut and then have protection in first probably. 2 3 oh. Okay, 2 3 now for BRE. Still first for XI. Um, so, it's even better actually because now he's going to be able to uh, dodge the blue take... at least. Yes. He, he will probably go. That oh, was he... risky. Oof. That was super risky. I think K can manage to hold his own here. <coughs> he's gonna be able to run him, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna take him out. Yeah. I'm not sure why LMD didn't manage to deny the double. Oh, maybe a. Yeah. Wait, That's what? A shark, probably. No? What? No, okay. Okay, he just wanted items. Oh, I, I think someone yeah. must have it. Yeah, it's, okay, yeah. so that. XI had he it. He wouldn't have done that unless someone for sure had it, or they saw it. XI had it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he is still kind of in the back, at least from what I saw Actually, there. Maybe it's a BRE shock. Hmm. Can't really tell. But XI like, like, kind of stuck in the back. I think I feel like BRE is top two for five so far. I would say top two for five six maybe. Mm, they just need to get rid of strike in the middle. What does he get? Oh, one Another more shock. Oh, that's, shock. That's, that's, that's an XI shock for sure. They, they pretty really much lose great. the race off that. that. Yeah, they're losing a lot of spots on that. That's a 1 3 4, probably even more right side. A huge race. One, <laughs> Man, three, I four, mean, five. Yeah, that's one of the. Five. That's one of the consequences, I guess, of using an earlier shock. I mean, there's yeah. always that possibility that yeah. the second one will be pulled right at the end, and that's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. most crucial spots, especially on that track, to get it because of the TS spot. Definitely. So, I mean, it was it was a good effort from BRE to go for shock finally after six races, um, and they managed to pull it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe they didn't take too much um, advantage uh, with that shock. Like they didn't manage to to get stars. Uh, in, the, in the front and stuff to avoid that situation and XI got pretty lucky I think pulling it because it considering where, where shock happened I guess it was only available um, second set of lap 2 of lap 3 sorry so it's a really close um, window to be able to pull shock so XI definitely got a, got a really really lucky pull here yeah, I don't think sure. they dodged with it because if they did uh, most people would have stopped so it's definitely like a clutch shock pulled at the, at the very end. Yep, and then another track pick for XI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, XI in a really good position so far. If they manage to get a, like a huge top this race, it's basically over, I think. Yeah, I mean, if, even if it's a tied race here, it's going to be yeah. difficult. So we will we will see. Yeah, BRE needs to... Okay, he managed to spam K, that's pretty good. It's good for Angel, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's also good for BRE, because K was going to shroom up and take the lead. Right. At some point. 2 3 4, no, 2 4 for BRE. XI. Oh, Yo gets taken out. <laughs> it's a top 2 now. Top 2 for XI. Top 2 4? Yeah, top 2 4. Let's, let's see what he pulls. Single shroom that's not going to be of any use. 
Okay, just keep holding I guess he tried there. to bank on, like, lag there or something yeah. for <laughs> getting him. Yeah, but he loses his home and Blue's coming, so it's not really... It's a really aggressive play, but I mean, they can afford it since they have, like, a huge lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely riskier plays are definitely something XI can do, because they built up a bit of insurance, I guess. Yeah, obviously. Like if, if he did manage to hit the horns, he would have gotten, like, a top 3 or top 4 breakaway, and basically at this point, Biawi was committed to, like, the shot. Oh, uh, really? MDS holding on first for now, but I've, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's <laughs> cool, it's holy <laughs> Okay, is he going to home now? No, he should not. Okay, he kept his arm. Okay, so he's gonna be able three. to hold this, I think, for... Until there's yeah. a red, at least, or blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he has to coordinate well with uh, Bastien to, to hit a, like a good bomb. Like, he, he needs to warn him beforehand when he's going to back the bomb. If he right. does. Oh, but he... I guess oh, strike? It, so that, that's a 2-3-4. Oh, it's yeah. getting really risky for LMDS in first. If he manages to pull a good ball, maybe he can salvage the race a bit, but it feels like BRE is stuck in the back right now. And the, oh, uh, the bomb is not going to connect. That was really? risky, I feel like. Yeah, but he's getting ready think... out. And oh, yeah, the top yeah. 2 four, 4 Yeah, top 2 four, 5 for XI, yeah. That's basically game over at this point. XI won, wins. Sorry. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, yeah, I don't know why he backed the bomb. He, um, I guess, I he, was he getting reddit anyways? I guess. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I don't know. He's only got like booed. No, that's what, no, no, he didn't get booed because K got booed right after. Booed, booed could, like he couldn't have gotten booed. But I mean, if Rubble pulled two reds anyways, he was still getting reddit regardless. I guess. But yeah, I, I don't yeah. know if Rubble had one or two reds. That's the only part mm. I don't know, I guess. Yeah, maybe he should have went for like a more risky play. Maybe, you know, pull a bomb uh, at the double after the uh, the four zippers, maybe. Would have worked. So he could, you know, lock the uh, the double a bit and force Rubble to take a weird line. And chain more protection, I don't know. It's a really tough situation when you're first and your opponent is 2-3-4 anyway. Right, well, I guess yeah, at this point, you kind of have to go for that bomb anyways, because then it just, like, flips the race a lot more when you're down yeah. this much, too, so. For sure. Regardless, next place we're going to is another track pick XI, for <laughs> XI. Yeah. XI getting all of the track picks, basically. And BRV kind of went for shock last race, but they didn't, they weren't lucky enough to, to pull it, so. Luck not really on the side. Right. Alright, so... Okay, so XI definitely begging at the very start. They always love to beg on this, this track. It's kind of XI's signature track. Yeah, are we kind of in the back already? Mm. Actually, it's... No, it's even... Well, it seems like everybody who got hit or failed in each team is kind of bagging yeah. now, which makes sense. I am pretty sure a shock will happen in the race, considering how spread the pack is. Yeah, it'd definitely be likely. I could see it pulled here, potentially. Okay, BRE committing a lot for shock. Blue coming out. Uh... Okay, someone got blue in the front, I'm not sure who. Probably XI. Someone used a star in second already. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, I guess to block a red or something, perhaps. But yeah, I think he's still shock distance here. Bottom three. Oh, he should. Does he have shock? Because no, didn't that's um. Uh... Yeah, but like he. he oh, didn't but he didn't use a star. Yeah, he didn't. So he might have he... it. Uh, okay, okay. He got booed. That sucks. Oh, Bree is stopping. Oh, Bree stopping. Yeah, yeah. K is afraid of the shock. Yeah, that's a good decision. That was such a good yeah. build for K because he was able to yeah, use it yeah, in yeah. sixth, and he basically yeah. blocked that entire shock spot for them. Yep, XI is probably like top of everything right now. Yeah, yeah. basically. It's all, only Falso in the front. Uh, I don't think he's going to survive for very long. Maybe. Oh, actually. Pretty much only up to Falso right now to get any hits on them up there. Yeah. But I mean. Oh, I mean, yes, missed the trick. Yeah, and that's basically the end this for is, I, Yeah, I think this is. Uh... Uh, uh, strike gets taken out. <coughs> One more shock. 
Maybe a decent trade? No, I don't think so. I think XR is still getting a good trade. <laughs> yeah. At the top 3 5 and bottom 2, that's a winning race. Yeah, at this point, so, BR, BR is. Yeah, how cool. many races are left now? Three? Four. Two? One four? Left, I think. Uh, one okay. left. I might be mistaken. F three or four? I think it's three. Three left, yeah. <laughs> three left. So that yeah. means, yeah, it's over, right? Wait, how much are they down? Yeah, it's it's mathematically over. Well, <laughs> yeah, great way to start the uh, cast for the day and blow out the yeah. match, basically. But I mean, XI did get a lot of track picks, but I mean, they also played pretty pretty well for yeah. sure. So well, XI was kind of like strategically speaking, XI was just doing better i guess they were always in control of the top and of the bottom so basically brb was was stuck in the middle and when you when you can't really get a, a grasp of the front all you have to do is basically committing to shark in order to you know try and uh, and have your teammate but if you can't get it well it's that's game Wait, over. did sarah do you see twice uh he's only on the team, maybe i don't know once or twice we don't really tell. I haven't paid much attention. No, unfortunate factor for free, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. They no, finally I got Moo Moo. <laughs> yeah. Finally. It when, when it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Moo Moo. Oh, maybe they can close the gap a bit more than losing by 130. Yeah. Or oh, maybe they can lose by 200. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Uh, I think BRB managed to to get um <laughs> I'm one throwing a rat at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's a BRE uh, guy falling here. Ooh, good boomerang here. <laughs> and I bet XI is probably just not even caring anymore. <laughs> yeah. At this point. This uh, is but... one. <laughs> even Saru is playing an uh, outfield. I don't think he cares anymore. <laughs> I don't know how it didn't get hit by fire, but it works. That's a risky bomb. Is one gonna connect? No, I don't know. With the backspan, really maybe? <laughs> Good one. Nearly. Oh, that fire is gonna be funny. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait, this is the fire. I, I didn't even know the fire killed the cow. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get, <laughs> go, get a hop, yeah. Uh, I, f I feel like BRE oh. is at least, yeah, top two, that's what I was going to say. I've Wait, there's a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bomb. It was a good attempt. <laughs> it's just messing around, XI at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a top two for BRE and everything else for XI. I mean, never mind. Nope, XI, XI, even XI got first. It. Yeah. And bottom three again for BRE. Yeah, that's... that's a rough match, to say the least. Definitely. Man, yeah. so, so XI so, XI wins this. So after this, then XI obviously is, plays HD. HD. Yes. That'll be interesting for sure. Yeah. I think uh, strategically speaking, it's going to be really um interesting because both teams um have a, an history of like really good plays around Shark. They uh they are really you know um they know really well when to go for shark and when not to. So I think it's going to be like a really interesting battle or who um, who plays the, the best. Yeah, definitely. I would say HD have a, has a, a better synergy because they've been playing together for so long. Um, but on the other hand, XI is probably better individually. They have better like individual players, but they probably yeah, are, yeah. They have more indie players too. So, you know. I it's agree. interesting. Goal for, like, for BRE is not to lose by 200 now. <laughs> <laughs> and tries well, to make it to 400 points. At this rate, unfortunately, it might be a plus 200, but we'll see. Yeah. K getting the, uh, the goods, the draft and shroom combo. Yes. But I guess a couple other people got the same thing. Okay, he says to stop. That's interesting. 
I guess he's a, yeah, I guess he decides to back. Probably a lot of XI up here if he can have for doing that. Actually no, the top three. Okay, maybe they just rely on um, on pairing R and Shock for this race. I mean they can afford just going for shock blindly pretty much right now. Yeah. Because if they get shock five... it's just good. Yeah. BR is basically like two four five six. So I I don't think it's a good idea to do that. Because they are basically letting XI get shot. XI is probably in 3-1 in the bottom 4. Top 3 for BRE, but they are going to get shot really soon. Top There's three. the blue. So, yeah. Only top 3. Good game right here. So, yeah. Not able to avoid it. Blue can't be pulled anymore, and uh, they just crossed double in bottom spot. So it is very likely Shark is in play right now. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> and there they go. Up. Two people, three people dodged even. Oh it's no, the red yeah. skipped. Uh, yeah, I think that wasn't intentional there. Definitely um, an exile shock. That's what happens when you have no control of the bottom spots. Against the team such as XI. Really good at uh, 9, nine flip box. Okay, yeah, he focused on the focus start. It's really good. Is so he going to try and, and get him on glider? No, he's probably going to save his No, he's just, yeah, holding it for invincibility to the end. Yeah. Oh! That's, uh, that's a top 2 for. Ah, uh, top 2 5 for XI. And Biori didn't get too affected by Shark. Well, they did, but like, I thought it would be worse. And yeah. <laughs> XI BRE is just, uh, uh, yeah, they're just killing it today. Yeah, BRE is basically letting uh, XI get control of the bottom and the top, which is a crucial mistake, unfortunately. How many points is a top six, 61? Uh, yes. So <laughs> XI can theoretically break 600 here, but unlikely, I guess. Wait, no, uh, no, sorry, no, I need no, 70. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's quick math. Quick maths. Quick maths not working for me right now. But BRE can't make, might not be able to make it to 400, though, if they get bottom 6. Yep, yeah, because that's 21, yeah. Yep. But I mean, BRE didn't get, like, really lucky this quarter either. They didn't get any any track picks in the, in the middle, like, races, like GP2. So XI just managed to snowball a lot. And when they tried to go for Shark, it was too late, but still, they did try to go for it on um, on the stadium, and they just didn't manage to pull it, so it's a bit unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> oh, and yes, bringing out Tanuki, Tanuki <laughs> yeah, Mario. Yeah, last. So, just trolling. Wish I saw more uh, Jeff combos out here. <laughs> you will next season. <laughs> <laughs> next season, yeah. Looking forward to that one. Yes. So are you guys obviously going to be in Division 1 next season? I don't know. Depends where we get <laughs> Well, it I probably would make sense. I, I think we're worthy of D1, but I, I'm, I'm not too sure. But I think we are. Yep. Yeah, so this race, uh, I'm not sure what there is to analyze and cast about. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of... Uh... <laughs> Entertainment now, just watching. Good luck at FFA. <laughs> yeah. That's basically an FFA right now. At least both teams are having a bit of fun and not taking it yeah. too seriously. Yes. It's always the most important thing. Yep. You see it's villagers it's just four, dominating. Four villages. Just four villages, yeah. Oh, just playing. chilling up yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a shark soon? No. I'm not even, even sure if they would play shark. Like, <laughs> for the they probably Maybe would they even probably call would it. it. Yeah. If if yeah. Sarupul did it, you, you can know he's going to endive it. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Take it, shark. Uh, oh. Oh, he's going to change it here, maybe? No. He, okay. He's, he, he's not an endive. He's going to. to he's going to call it. Yeah. yeah. How nice of him. Yeah. Shrooms? 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 No. no. It's Cartax gets flame. Oh, that boomerang sucks. 
Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Scarpex. Scarpex <laughs> gets hit on the line. Yeah. <laughs> That's a top 3, 8, 9, 10 for XI. I think BRB manages to get at least 400 points. But yeah, that was a really one sided match. Yeah, how maybe. many? Let me look at the uh, breakdown here. Uh, I think we were keeping track of the races. So Bree did not win a race that single war. The best race they had was a tied race. Yeah, they didn't. That's oh, crazy. Didn't win a single race, damn. Yeah, that's unlucky. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they didn't really get the chance to because they didn't get any track picks. Right. Well, they did, but like they got like what three, two maybe. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of it's not enough to to come back. Well, that settles that. So high definition will be playing XI or Pike Florida State University or whatever yep. it's called. <laughs> so cool. I guess we will. Um, be back whenever that starts. I think it's at the next hour, so we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So 10 we'll minutes, yeah. Take a quick break and see you then.